what's happening inside us oh i beat you to the punch hey y'all it's megan and we are back with a part two part two um so in the first video if you watched i hope you watched we kind of just talked about our um us growing up in the church and then um finding the church yes and then passing on um our faith to, to maddie to madison um so in this video uh i guess this is more so what the people really want to talk about the meat and that's how are we able to be lesbian and still be christian mm. Ooh. Mm. you say you could do that Pastor? you can do that you can do both of them both of them both of them um so for me like i said in the previous video my my relationship didn't necessarily um come from the bible so mm -hmm. i'm not a big bible story person y'all so when we be in church and they be like y'all remember what job said to abraham abraham i'll be like oh, okay daniel and the lions <laughs> did see i know all the popular you trying to play me no i know like the you know the Mary world had a little ones. lamb once and all that oh, okay um there okay. had a little lamb was not in the bible no, no, no i mean did. okay so y'all know what i'm saying uh <laughs> Noah's Ark. I know all those. You know, uh, Adam and Eve. You know, Eve ate. The How fruit. many animals each? It was two. Okay. Don't play two me. Two by two. Okay. You know what? <laughs> She's trying to play. So my faith didn't necessarily come from reading the Bible, and um, that, but it came from my personal experiences. So initially, obviously, as I was younger, it came from me watching uh, my mom and her faith and how strong mm -hmm. that was. And then seeing a lot of the things that God did in her life and in the lives of other people that I knew. And then as I got older, having those experiences for myself, mm -hmm. seeing what God did for for me in my life. So that's where my faith um, really came from. Like that's the foundation of my faith just because I personally now know the goodness of God and the role that he played in my life. Um, so once I got to that place where that was my guy, right? I knew and understood that it felt that nothing could literally, nothing I could do could literally not separate me from the love of God. Like he was always, did I say that right? Nothing mm -hmm. like, yeah. He was never going to stop loving me. He is never going to stop loving me. Um, he knew me before I was even made. Yeah. Um, so he knew mm. I would turn out to be exactly who I am and he, he is still did so proud of me. Yes, he did. Yeah. And he is still so proud of me. I believe he is proud of me for being who, um, he created me to be. Um, so for me, that is why I can stand strong in my faith. I can be bold in both, uh, being a Christ follower as well as being a lesbian. Mm -hmm. And I can speak from experience, um, that I am truly blessed I am um, definitely highly favored because God definitely loves me and he has never left me. Nor um, forsaken me. Nor forsaken me. Mm. Nor forsaken me. So that's where, um, that's where, that's where my faith comes from and, and how it came to be so strong. How yeah. About you? Um, I think I can agree with most of that. Definitely not from uh, church stories that are told um, and fed to us. You do a know lot a of lot that, of Bible stories though. I know a few. She knows um, Bible stories. But honestly, the ones I know aren't necessarily, weren't necessarily told to build me up. Oh, for sure. You oh, know what I'm saying? Sodom and Gomorrah weren't told for you to build Child, you up. Child, didn't it tear me down? Build me up, girl. Okay. Yeah, okay. so um, <clears throat> I think mine was also very personal. I took those scriptures that are usually used to break down the LGBTQI community and it took you me kind of doing some research for myself. So if yeah. it says this, then how is this possible? For sure. Um, I think a lot of things we read and are said out of context because we will read verse five and then skip over verse four and verse six because verse five is what applies, what applies and that's yes. what we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it became a place of, so how is it okay for this and not this? And then we want to start putting levels on, well, this is actually a bigger sin than that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. This is Woo. more important than that one. And and, the, and then it Talk went, about I think it bothered me more that people tried to make it seem like, oh, it's because I love you that I'm telling you this. Like, mm. you know, you're saving me. 
But but what people don't understand is no one else can save you can't yes. dictate my relationship with God Absolutely. because it's personal. Absolutely. So you have no say. You you literally have no say in someone's relationship um with God or with Christ. Absolutely. I th I think another thing people try to do um in like with saying it out of love, they also kind of try to convict you because they're like I'm I'm worried about your your yes, salvation and what's going to happen to you when God comes back. It's like, hold on. You need not concern yourself Please because don't. you have a list of a laundry list of other things in your own life to concern yourself with. In Jesus name, okay? Um so being concerned Somebody. it's such a thin line between being concerned yes. and someone just using that as an opportunity to yes. change who you are because it's inconvenient. For them or they don't agree or they don't agree which yeah. is usually the case and which is fine there's a lot of things i don't agree with that mm -hmm. people do mm -hmm. but i have no right on this earth god has not instilled me with anything special mm -hmm. that sets me apart to be able to tell someone oh jesus is not gonna love you he's gonna love you even less yes. if you such and such absolutely no nah. absolutely he gave me a lot of gifts but that ain't one discernment is one, is one. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let just leave that right there. I'm gonna just, just sit it. Let's sit it on the altar. And All leave. Right. It. Somebody pick it up. Leave it. Pick it up. Yeah, so it's I think for me it's just really been um a matter of kind of blocking out what other people uh have has you know have told me or what society has said about um, not being able to be both, um, mm -hmm. having to decide to be one of the other. Um, and I think that's why a, a lot of our brothers and sisters, um, do leave the church or do, yeah. you know, they, they seek other religions or no religion at all, honestly, mm -hmm. because of, um, their, like what people have forced on them to believe like that you can't be both, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And that's why I really love our relationship because it is centered um around christ and our foundation is is in christ and we still love him just as much as we always did absolutely and we still love each other and i think we um show the world that it that it's possible to be both and it's okay and it you is. can live and you can thrive and um i know people make it seem like this is something that um we are forcing on people or forcing oh, on the church and all these things when all we're doing is just living our lives. We, we aren't forcing this on our children. We're just Girl. being who we are, who God made us. Like, Girl. I don't understand why that's so confusing for people. I, I, and I, I just think because people just are so closed minded yes. um, and because they get so caught up in the physical because people honestly, oh, I'm just gonna say child, that. I'm gonna just be we, real. We're gonna have to say that I'm for just, another no, video. I'm gonna have to say it. We're gonna have to say it for another video. The biggest issue is child. people, I'm telling you right now, this is it. This yeah. is it. And then I'm gonna leave it. Oh god. People over sexualize homosexuality. everything. Yes. I mean that that's not all there is to life. Procreation yes. is not all there is to life. Because yes. if it was, there wouldn't be men and women who can't produce children. Like uh, that, that's a we real gonna have deal. to we don't do it. I'ma try not to, but see, it, it gets in my spirit and Lord. I get worked up. Uh -huh. Okay, get the fan, y'all. Okay, somebody yeah. passing me Where that uh, Martin the Luther Ursha? King uh, church uh, uh, funeral home get fan. Get the Urshan in need, here. She needs. She need to cool down now and get the blanket and put on let me. me. Let me just. You gonna lay pot straight? Oh. Holly, go on, go on. I just okay, you. and I'm gonna just leave that right there. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, it is more to a same-sex relationship. <laughs> Any relationship, I hope. But we spe we're specifically talking about LGBTQIA yes. because yes. whenever people hear that, they automatically it's their mind. That two yes. women having sex, Why two men that? having sex. I mean, when you looking at your mom and daddy, is that the first thing you thinking about? Is oh, my parents have sex? No, it's not. not. Mm -mm. It Unless you. you just like it's not a visual I want. Okay, <laughs> everybody else would that matter. Into stuff like that, but whatever. No, like so, it should not be the same when it comes to to homosexual relationships. That's like, right. That is so like, whew. so I think. 
it, it takes you being a strong person, being mm -hmm. comfortable with who you are, mm -hmm. um, accepting who you are, and then you're able to accept God and his, the love that he genuinely has for Absolutely. you, right? So outside of the church, I think Mason and I are both on the same page when we say it is important just to have a personal relationship with God and either having someone who can hold you accountable um, or a personal relationship with a higher calling or a higher being, mm -hmm. you know, if you so choose, whatever that may be. Um, I think that that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I, and I think it, it can work the opposite way. Like you said, you and then God, I think for you to come, even if you don't love yourself yet, just, mm -hmm. just realize how much God loves you yes. first. And then that's that good. will really let you know, like, wow, if, if, God can love me this much as if he can see me through life, you know, trials, tribulations or whatever. Like I must be all of that. Oh, you like are. he died on the cross for me and specifically we're talking about Jesus, but yes. he died on the cross for me. Man, I must be somebody special. Let me tell you something. I God must loves be. you. Absolutely. Okay. Mason, I, if we can't tell you nothing else. We Absolutely. can tell you that from experience. Absolutely. God loves you unconditionally. Un don't let anybody no doubt, tell you different. Unequivocally, he loves you endlessly. There's nothing you could do mm -hmm. to separate you from the love of Jesus. Anything else is Period. a lie. Period. 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 Now, if people want to bring up the Bible, that's in the Bible. It is in the Bible. Okay. Yeah. That so let's is. talk. Let's talk about that. If we want to talk about it. If we gonna talk about it. Ooh, I might need something a little stronger than the blood. Oh, I'm not I'm just kidding. This, this just cream grape. Okay. I might need him to turn this cream grape into wine. Eb it up. it up. Eb it up. Eb it up. Yeah, so. Um, you took me to a place. Okay. Man, no surprise yeah. there. So, I think that I guess that kind of answers how we are able to live in our truth and love God. Absolutely. Absolutely. So hopefully this video was helpful and it answered that burning question again you guys have been wanting answered for a long, long time. Again, we love you. God loves you. We appreciate you. Thank you for rocking with us as always. And what else, mate? And and bye, right? Or something yeah, else. Not, well, that's what they be waiting for. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> well, let me get the people what they want. Hallelujah, what they want. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go ahead, give them a Kirk Franklin bye. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> stop. Everybody say stop. Oh, I think you said a little Everybody more. Everybody, yeah, he did. But we, we love still you. love you, Kirk. That's right. We love you, Kirk. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. Bye. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>